Well, this year, some of Idaho's sturgeon were in major trouble. The warmer than average temperatures were making waters too warm and oxygen levels were low. And as a result, fish started dying. Idaho Fish and Game identified 20 individuals that died over a few weeks in what they say was an unprecedented event here in Idaho. In response, they closed sturgeon fishing on part of the CJ Strike Reservoir. So we wanted to check back in with them and see how the sturgeon are doing now. The conservation closure uh, that Fish and Game had in place uh, for that portion of CJ Strike Reservoir, um, it was in place until the prescribed end date, which was September 25th. Since the uh, closure has been lifted, uh, sturgeon fishing has resumed on the reservoir, and we've received no additional reports of sturgeon mortalities. Brian Pearson works with Idaho Fish and Game, and he says there were no additional fatalities while the closure was in place, which is great news. And while the fish are out of hot water for now, we asked what the outlook for this area looks like for the next few years and excuse me, next few weeks and into next year. Typically, we're seeing these conditions crop up in the warmer months. Um, you know, obviously, this was an un unprecedented uh, mortality event for sturgeon. It's not something that we have seen before to this extent. Right now, again, reservoir and con reservoir conditions are, are in a good place. If we do see these conditions crop up again um, in this upcoming summer or in following summers, we're going to be able to uh, respond more quickly and really uh, evaluate this scientifically as to whether, you know, uh, these angling effort does contribute when these sorts of conditions exist on CJ Strike Reservoir. So when this whole thing first happened, several sport fishing outfitters and fishing guides said that people on social media were blaming them for the closure. But Pearson says the temperatures and the low oxygen, those were the main culprit. I think it's important to note um, that this is uh, more so an issue of environmental conditions than of uh, angling effort. And, uh, you know, we don't take uh, these situations where we remove angling opportunity lightly, uh, but in this case, it was uh, the prudent thing to do to protect a resource that was that is treasured by Idaho anglers. And it's you know, if if these conditions uh, reoccur in the future, it's something that we will evaluate once again. And while this mortality event was unprecedented, Pearson says this die-off was not at a population level. 20 large sturgeon died in this event, and while that number is not in the hundreds or thousands, these 50 to 70-year-old fish will be difficult to replace. It's you know, a travesty, really, uh, because these fish do take so long to grow to those sizes. But that being said, you know, 20 fish is really constitutes just, a, for, at a population level, constitutes a, a pretty small sliver of the total population, um, which is in that stretch of river estimated to be somewhere in the neighborhood of 4,000. Um, so at a population level, it is not a super big concern. It is a, a valued resource and it's something that, that we care deeply about and our constituents care deeply about.